Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to our Silverado project. Uh, today, our video, we're going to put in a Rough Country one and a half to two inch leveling kit. Here's what our truck looks like before the kit. Um, you can see there's a slight uh, slant <clears throat> towards the front and uh, we're going to see what we can do to level this out and then uh, see about getting some bigger wheels and tires. So that's what it looks like. We'll show you what it looks like after. Thanks for watching. Hey, what's up guys? Uh, this is Bill working on our Project Silverado. It's a 2004 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD. We are putting on a 2 inch Rough Country leveling kit and we ran into some issues. But the good news is <clears throat> we now have one side of our truck, of our project, we were able to get the lift kit on. But this video, um, there's a lot of videos out on how to install this kit. Well, the installation isn't that hard. The biggest the biggest challenge that people are running into is how to get these torsion bar keys off and uh, you know get it separated from the torsion bar so this video is specifically going to be how we did that um, I actually uh, have the fortunate <laughs> uh, uh, being fortunate that I live uh, near my father-in-law who is a old farmer who knows how to fix just about everything um, two things I also called rough country as well but two things that we did on our project to get the first key out and I'll show you on this video how we're going to get the next one out um, but the biggest thing two things is to heat it and I called rough country and I saw online that um, you know you're not supposed to put heat on the torsion bar so I didn't um, he suggested putting heat on the keys and if I get underneath here you know there, again there's a million videos out here for torsion bar keys this is our key right here and we have, we have the, the tool that we can use to take the pressure off, so you need that. Um, and so we're going to take this bolt out here, and we're going to put the, the tool on so that will separate it. But very important things to do. Make sure you're using in here that you're getting some liquid wrench in um, or PV blaster or something like that so that it's starting to work that. You know, do that the night before even you're doing this project so it really has time to work in there. But my second and most important tool is a metal bar and a big hammer and uh, we went over to the farm and luckily enough we found uh, ironically the uh, metal bar it's a, it's about 16 inches long it's about an inch in diameter it just happened to be laying in the shop over there and um, I'll show you how this fit in there and how it worked but this worked out perfect and we were able to stick it into uh, the hole for the torsion bar so when you get up in here um, there is you, know, you have to get your bar up into this hole up here and the, that bar fit almost perfectly and actually it was we had to wedge it just a tiny bit enough so it held the bar in place so that I could smash it from this other side. Now I do see that we're going to have a problem on this side because this side also has the muffler so that could be a problem. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, stay tuned. Hey what's up guys I'm under the vehicle. Um, I rented this you can rent this from like O'Reilly Auto Parts. It's like 89 bucks, but you can return it. Um, so this is the, the compressor that you put on here. You take that bolt off, um, the first bolt right here. Uh, that was up into this little spot piece here. Take that out, to use the air wrench for that. Um, and then all I'm doing is I'm taking my air wrench and I've got a big socket, um, big deep socket. This is a Actually, it looks like about a one inch socket. I can't even see the measurements on it, but to get at least to get it on this thing. And then you're putting pressure on here so we can get that piece out. Not done yet.
too far on this tool, but this is the piece that we're putting, you know, compressing so that we can get this little piece out. And uh, that's pretty much it. And then I'm going to adjust my wrench and then take this off. Okay, so now this is loose, it's going to move, but the key is rusted on, so I'll show you what we're going to do with that next. Okay, so the next step is, I've got a, just a handheld uh, torch, and uh, I've already started working on this, but I'm heating up the key, I'm not heating up the bar, um, obviously they will both heat up together, but I'm not putting, the direct, not putting direct flame on it, um, so I'm just heating this up. What we're gonna do, it's pretty good and hot. I want to put the, we're gonna put our bar. I want to put it in our, put it in that hole right there. Sorry, there's smoke all over here. Um, this bar fits just perfectly into the hole, or at least it did. Uh, oh, 16 inch metal bar. This one fits absolutely perfectly. This is the passenger side of the truck. This actually fits in a lot easier. Than the other side did uh, did so this is actually fairly loose so that could be a challenge uh, but I'm going to take a big hammer and I'm going to hit the end of this this pipe and hopefully this thing comes out so we'll give it a try. Did you get that? Mm -hmm. Sweet. Okay, it totally worked, you guys. I actually had to put this towel in here to wedge my pipe in. But look at this, that's going to be hot. But so this actually works. So we've got our key. Uh, he's now stuck up there. And it's hot. Oh, it's on my bar. Ready? I'm taking the bar out. We got it. And that only took literally. That took like less than ten minutes. So my key is out. I heated it up. Um, liquid, you know, liquid wrench in here. Make sure you get this bar. Um, or you know you get whatever but that's what we had and it fit perfectly inside that hole and then now this came completely off so now we can reinstall the key put the new key in and um, like I said we already did one side the lift looks great um, there's plenty of videos on how to do this you just basically re you know redo what you uh, you know re basically re put it back together the way you came, came apart so that's it so here's my new key, and let's focus on that. Um, there's the new key. The divots go to the downside, and I'm going to slide this. I need two hands, so I'm going to slide this up, and then that bar will slide. You know, this bar will slide back and forth, and I just twist it until I get it back in place. So we'll work on that. I skipped ahead a little bit. Um, it's pretty simple. After. Yeah, I put my clamp on, I pushed the spring back up, and I was able to slide this little piece back in. And once I did that, I you know take the clamp off and then I'll put pressure back on this and then it doesn't move. And all you need to do, this is your adjusting bolt, and I just put the adjusting bolt back in. This one looks a little bit uh, further in than that one, so we'll have to adjust those, see how the truck looks um, when we get this set back down. For the final step of the lift project, um, we have to take this old bracket off, right here, the shock bracket. Um, so I've already got my 7 8 inch um, socket on here. I'm going to put a 7 8 inch wrench on the other side to undo that uh, shock, and then this bracket comes off. So um, we'll use the power tools and get rolling. Sure, going the right way. Wrench on. And this just comes right off. <laughs> Done. Hold out. I have to tap it a little bit. That right, didn't want to come. Uh, <laughs> That's not going to come. 
do a little heavy persuasion. I might have to unscrew that one. And I don't think I can get my drill in. That's not gonna. I don't know if that'll work on that angle. So our work. This last one came off super easy. This one doesn't want to come off. And I will have to put a wrench in there. So we'll get that off, and then we'll take off this bracket. Hey, by the way, uh, I made a mistake. <laughs> Make sure you get the right order of this, follow the directions. I decided on this side, I was feeling so good about putting, you know, doing the keys. I tightened the keys up, put everything back together. Well, I forgot to undo the sh uh, shock there, and it was a mess. So I've actually had to jack this up, um, and I had to undo the keys just to get my bolt out of the shock. So now I've got the bolt out, and I can go ahead and uh, take these. The next step on this is uh, just get a socket and uh, you know get down in here and take these off. So we'll do that next. Here is the finished product of our two-inch leveling kit from Rough Country, and uh, it worked out really well. I uh, highly recommend it. And as you can see, you know, we got the fronts and they're matched up fairly closely to the backs. I just have to do a little bit of adjustment, but uh, I'm very pleased with it. It drives great. If you're worried about the drivability, I can't really tell the difference. And uh, I highly recommend it. So good luck. Thank you for watching. Remember to hit the like button and uh, feel free to subscribe. Thanks so much.